This is Senator Eric Abetz. He's from the Liberal Party um, in Australia, which is actually not, you know, not liberal as we would understand it here. He's a conservative. Dave Rubin liberal. Dave Rubin liberals, yes. He's a classical liberal. Um, he claimed that uh, Australian news media is, quote-unquote, biased in favor of same-sex marriage. Um, and that they fail to report when individuals tell Senate committees that they have left uh, gay relationships and entered into heterosexual ones. And he said he believes it should be up to the individual. And you know, here, here we are. Here he is on Sky News Australia giving us some entertaining Stone Age thinking on gay rights and sexual identity. But all I was seeking was balance from the media to report both sides of this phenomenon. And uh, when okay, only one you, side is reported... But do you personally believe uh, that gays and lesbians can sort of pull up their bootstraps and show a bit of discipline and become heterosexuals? Do you actually think that, that they can sort of stop being who they are in some way? Well, uh, Samantha, the reality is, and uh, evidence has been given to Senate committees, where people that have been in gay relationships have then gone into heterosexual relationships, and I believe that that sure, can that's a different question. I'm asking you, do, do you think that... Do you... Courtesy... I'm asking you can if I you think gay answer, people should Samantha? try not to be Cour gay. Oh, look, uh, it is up to the individual as to what they want to be and uh, how they want to uh, express themselves. That is up to them. <laughs> Mom! 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 Why did you do that to me? So there's a couple of things there that are amazing to me. So one, this is the new rhetoric of bigotry. It's almost as if we have gone for all of our history. Just just take United modern, you know, United States, Australia. No place even in the 1990s was a mass recognition of gay and lesbian people having equal rights was not on the table anywhere in any serious way. The debate was maybe the liberal position was maybe civil unions and shouldn't be victims of hate crimes, and maybe some small degree of social acceptance. In the past couple of years, there has been some genuine progress on marriage. I mean, there's many other issues there. And now all of a sudden, people who just can't let go of the same ancient bigotry, they say that people who are pushing forward with a civil rights agenda are not open-minded because we won't indulge in their pseudoscience. And by the way, when you use that rhetoric about it being a choice, what does that lead to in terms of practical programmatic outcomes? Mom! 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 Why did you do that to me? Summer camps where kids get psychologically abused by charlatans to destroy who they are. So, F you, Eric Abetz. It's a relief to know that doesn't just come from Iowa. Yes. There are... I don't know if relief is the word. Yeah. Well, if it's a relief to you to know that there are also complete morons in Australia, there you Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.